Do you want to extend your powered adventures? Harnessing the free power from the sun is a no-brainer. In this video, I'll be running you through just how easy it is to incorporate a fixed panel into your charging system. Before we start, if you're not technically minded or have any auto electrical experience, we recommend you use a qualified installer such as a RedArc Red Network member. With over 100 members around Australia and New Zealand, there's one near you. To find yours, visit the RedArc website. The first step to installing a fixed solar panel is to determine the amount of available space on your vehicle or caravan and the size of the panel you can install. Panel dimensions can be found on the RedArc website. For this install, I've chosen to go with the 120 watt panel as it's the largest panel I can fit in my available space because with solar, more is more. I'm going to utilise the space between my roof racks and max tracks, allowing me to use the racks as required. Red Arc have several mounting options available, one of which is designed for this particular rack. These mounts come with all the hardware I need to safely and securely mount the panel. To complete this install, I'll need the following tools. A drill, a 6.5mm drill bit, screwdrivers, spanners, allen keys, file or deburring tool, and a set of crimpers. To begin the installation, I'll need to mark out the location of the brackets, ensuring they are evenly spaced to support the solar panel and line up with the slots in my rack. Next, I'm going to mark on the panel where each bracket needs to be positioned. Once I have this marked out, I can bring everything to my workbench and drill the holes and secure the brackets to my panel. As I'm drilling into the panel from underneath, I like to protect the glass with either a piece of wood or a stop guide on the drill bit. If I drill too far, I risk damaging the solar cells. I'll need to drill two mounting holes per bracket for even support across the whole panel. Once the holes are drilled, I'll give them a quick deburr to remove any debris. Now let's fix the bracket to our panel using the hardware provided in the kit. I'm in the workshop with no solar output so I can connect the panel to my cables. If you're installing in the sun, this should be done last. I'm using the MC4 connectors as they are perfect for connections that are exposed to the elements while still providing an easy method of unplugging from the system if required. Next, let's work out where the wires need to be run and then secure the panel to my rack. Now comes the fun part, running the cables back to my BCDC charger. Once I have the cables run, it's time to terminate the ends and connect to the charger so I can start reaping the benefits of solar energy. And there you have it, solar power charging my battery and feeding my accessories. If you want to extend your adventures with free power from the sun, visit redarcelectronics.com.